Hey there, and uh, welcome to this little edition with the, the love coach, uh, Bruce Starr. Uh, great to be with you. Uh, I decided that what I would do is I would take some of the questions that people uh, are asking on the show and uh, talk about them on the air. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take some of the questions that people bring up and uh, just going to do that. I'm just going to answer those and tell you a little bit about the radio show that's on 95.9 and 106.9 FM, The Palm, heard throughout South Florida from Boca all the way to Vero Beach. But also, uh, you have the opportunity to listen live streamed from anywhere in the world at 959thepalm.com. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about being able to uh, be on the air and uh, uh, share with you uh, guests that I bring on. Uh, the other day we had on the wife of Muhammad Ali and his only son, Muhammad Ali Jr. It was really spectacular. We had a great time. And uh, uh, then and, and the other show that we had just the other day, I had on the Beverly Hills matchmaker, Marla Martinson, and I just got off doing a show with her, uh, her show uh, that she has on uh, uh, listening. Okay, so uh, I want to thank you all for again for, for joining me. And uh, I have a question here that someone asked me, and I'd like to share that question with you. It's, uh, I'm a bit old-fashioned, a woman uh, wrote this, I'm a bit old-fashioned, uh, I do not believe in going up to guys. Uh, my dad went up to my mom, and that seemed to work out just great for a long, long time. Uh, I don't think guys will approach me if I don't go up to them. Uh, is there any other way to meet them? And I think you're absolutely right in saying, I don't think I should go up to men. I think you're absolutely right. And there's a reason for that. I, one of my teachers is Dr. Pat Allen. And Dr. Pat Allen works out in Los Angeles. And every week she packs a theater full of movie producers, actors, actresses, uh, casting directors, agents, and the reason why she packs that room is because they're on this path to become powerful agents or producers or actors or actresses, but they're alone and lonely. And Dr. Pat Allen speaks to a whole movie theater full of some of the most powerful people in the country out in Los Angeles and talks to them about relationships. And she said, look, I know women have to be aggressive and assertive in the workplace. And there's been a big change in the last 20 or 30 years. And she understands that. And I understand that also. But it's not necessarily getting a woman where she wants to go by becoming a super masculine and aggressive and assertive. You see, for 10,000 years, uh, Men were assertive and aggressive, went out like Fred Flintstone and uh, did, did something to catch the food and bring it home. And Wilma received his bounty and played a very important part in making sure that everybody in the family got fed and that they lived another day and everything worked out and the baby was fine, everything was good. So you had a system that worked really well, but then things have changed. And women have gotten a lot more aggressive and assertive. And here's the problem with that. Men really haven't changed all that much. But actually, as a result of women becoming so assertive and aggressive, they've been forced to become more of a receiver of energy, more of the feminine energy, more of the receptive energy. And what's happened is, because men have slowly watched women become very aggressive. They started saying to themselves, wow, 
why don't I just sit back and let the women come up to me? And you know what? Us men, we kind of like that. You make our job easier. We know that if you come up to me, you're interested and uh, we're probably going to do okay. We're probably going to score. But does that mean that that guy have strong feelings for you? Probably not. Does it mean that that guy is going to uh, take you home to the family? Maybe, maybe not. So here's what I suggest. I suggest that you allow the male be the one to approach you. So then I hear, well, well if, if I don't approach him, he'll never come up to me. Well, that might be true somewhat, but there are two very important and strong ways and things that you can do that can encourage the man that you're interested to come up and say hello to you. Any idea what that is? I don't hear anybody. Okay. The way that works is, and I learned this when I was about 22 years old, and I was in my school or bar or restaurant, whatever it was, cask and flagging. And there was a girl clear on the other side of this room. And it had to be what, 20 or 30 feet away, really pretty far away. And she smiled at me. And I smiled back at her. And that was all I needed to take that long trip, that 20 or 30 feet, to go and say hi to her. Because men do not want to be embarrassed when they take that chance to say hello. If that happens too many times, we are going to shy away from doing that very many times. So, ladies, when a man does come up to you, even if you're not that super interested, please be kind to that man and give him the kudos that he deserves for being brave enough to come up and say hello. So here's what happened. That girl smiled at me, and that was all that I needed to go up and talk to her. The other thing was eye contact. The two things that you can do, the most powerful things a woman can do, is make eye contact and smile. If that man does not react, if he doesn't come up to you, there might be a whole bunch of other reasons why he's not coming up to you. Maybe he's married, maybe he's whatever, he's not looking, whatever it is. Maybe he's uninterested in, in women, who knows? You just don't ever know. If a man doesn't come up to you after you've smiled at him and use that eye contact, he just wasn't the right person for you. And start looking around the room for somebody else that might be interesting. So I hope that helped. Uh, it is a dynamic way to meet people without being, without a, a, fem, a female being an assertive masculine energy. Because believe me, everything in that relationship starts from that first moment that you're together. The foundation starts at that first moment. And thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you uh, listening to yesterday's show and for your very nice comments. I appreciate that very much. So when you are uh, meeting someone, people, can I just go up to him and then I'll let him uh, take over from there? It could work out, but I have to tell you that uh, a man who allows himself to just sit back and be there for women to approach him, they're really looking at that woman as the, the one in control. Who's going to be the, you're, he's, you're looking, that person's going to mother that guy. I mean, that's not uh, the best foundation for a relationship. And he's going to continue 
to rely on that woman to make the important decisions, maybe pay for things. It doesn't work out. And the reason it doesn't work out is maybe a few weeks, a few months into that relationship, and that man let that woman in, that uh, man chose that, uh, uh, allowed that woman to uh, come into his life. After a while, the woman is going to get very bored and upset with him being so receptive and feminine in nature and her having to do everything, make all decisions and make the money. And it's, it's going to be upsetting and it's going to eventually going to break up. And not 90, not a hundred percent of the time, but a lot. And what works best is when, Hey, Claudia, thank you so much for being a part of this. Lily, thank you so much for joining the group. I really appreciate it. Lauren, thank you for being here. Uh, what works best is giving the man the opportunity to take the first step to approach you. And the way to do that is to make him believe that if he does approach you, you're not going to make a fool out of him. You're not going to reject him. Hey, Rick, thanks for joining. I appreciate you being here. That you're going to accept him when he does come over to you after you've smiled and made that eye contact. Men do not want to be embarrassed. It might take months to get over it if you make a fool of us when we do approach you. So please be respectful. Be respectful to anyone. Be kind. If that, uh, if you approach a woman and that lady, if that guy is not for you, just be smart, be kind and say, no, thank you. I'm really, I'm only here to relax. I'm really not here to meet anybody. Be kind. And that will encourage that man to go up to another woman who he finds attractive. I'm very happy for Max. He seems to have met quite a wonderful woman and they are very, very happy together. And uh, I think it's one of the great things that's happened to people that I've come across, that there are two people that like and respect each other. Everything starts with kindness and respecting each other. Even if you see other people not being kind and respectful to each other, know that that's not right. Know that that's only going to hurt you. You know, when you're not kind to someone, when you're mean-spirited to someone, that hurts you. It does. You don't want to be mean-spirited to anyone. So make it a rule to be as kind as you can to other people, no matter what happens. And especially if someone comes up to you and they, and they want to ask you out, yeah. if they're not quite the person for you, just say no, thank you. And men, when you approach a woman, approach them uh, in, in a way, in a respectful way, in a kind way, and with a smile, and you'll have a much better chance of meeting someone new. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be doing this as often as we can. Send in your questions to Love Coach, L U V Coach One at gmail.com, or listen to the show on a Thursday night from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern on 95.9 FM, 106.9 FM, The Palm. And you can listen in live stream from anywhere in the world at 959thepalm.com. Live stream from anywhere in the world, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern, and whatever that time is for you, wherever you're listening. Rick, thanks so much for the uh, nice words, and we'll see you again sometime.